So I realized that's what marketing people are good at. They can take statistics and make them say whatever they want. They can make their message fit a statistic. So I figured if they could do it, I'm an engineer, I'm a pro debate guy, so I worked up some slides to prove that anybody can do that, if we can go back to my slides. So here you go. I looked at some statistics and I found these on the internet and I'm just gonna make it say what I choose to make it say. So they, they polled a thousand people. Turns out three out of a thousand people polled said they've choked on a potato chip. Not died, just <clears throat> and they were fine. <laughs> Same thousand people, only one in a thousand said they've choked on a pretzel. So if you were in marketing, you could say, pretzels, the snack that's three times safer than the potato chip. <laughs> okay. Absolutely true statement. Suddenly people would be running from that dangerous potato chip. Kids are killed by them every day. Run! Another quick example. Your chances of getting Alzheimer by age 85 are 1 in 10. Kind of scary, actually. The average smoker lives to be age 66. So if you were in marketing at a cigarette company, you could say, smoking lowers your chance of getting Alzheimer's. Right? Absolutely correct statement. I can see the commercials now. Go ahead, light up. You won't be getting Alzheimer's. We hope to stamp it out in the next generation. Go ahead, two a day. Now you may ask, why does this matter? And here's why it matters. People get scared all the time. They don't realize that five or 10 times a really small number is still a very small number and not very likely, but they freak out. My mom is the best at this. She always hears these things and she's afraid to use anything. Because she's, and I worked up this example to prove to her that it's irrational to be scared and it ended up scaring her anyway. So here you go. One out of 1,677,345 people will get mauled by a bear. Really not very likely. Could be a bear right there, probably not gonna maul me. They're, really, statistically, it would just keep walking by. Even if you're a bear, only one out of 335,469 bears are involved in the mauling of a human. But it turns out two out of 10 people have never seen a bear. Therefore, if you've seen a bear, you're 10 times more likely to get mauled by one. My mom's conclusion, don't look at bears. It's reasonable. I never went to a zoo till I was 26 years old. But then again, I've never been attacked by a bear either. Maybe mom was smarter than I give her credit for.